Hey guys! Sailor Moon has always been my favorite anime, and this time I felt so inspired by its patterns and colors that I wanted to create these notebook covers. These designs are also great even if you are not a fan or don't know Sailor Moon, because they are just so cute and fun to make. Let's start off with this cute bunny bed sheet design. You will need purple colored paper in the size of your notebook, two pencils with an eraser on top, a normal eraser, an X-Acto knife, a pencil and a black pen, yellow, pink and white colored acrylic paint, and a glue stick. Go ahead and start off with a piece of a razor. Draw the head of a bunny with your pencil to create the guideline. Then begin cutting it out with your X-Acto knife. Carefully cut all the way around the guideline and then remove the excess eraser around it. Once you're done with that, test out the stamp on some additional paper first. If you're happy with the shape, go ahead and print it onto the paper. Gently press it down and carefully remove it. Be assured that the eraser doesn't move around or you might smudge the shape. You can also put a paper sheet underneath and press the stems onto the edges as well. This way you create a more seamless pattern. Now if you want, you can go in with a brush and fill in any gaps or areas where you want to have more paint on. If you have that, let's create a second stamp. Check your pencil with the eraser on top and line out the shape of a half moon. I use the metal end of a pen to create the moon shape, but you can just draw it on and then cut it out with your X-Acto knife. Test the stamp first and then add the moon to your design. You can also create a bigger moon by using a larger eraser. And just add it to your pattern as well. After that, create a star stamp by using your second pencil. Just draw on the shape and carefully cut it out. After testing out the stamp, go ahead and print it onto your design by using pink acrylic paint. Add as many stars as you wish and then let everything dry. Now it's time to add more details. Take your black pen and draw on the eyes for the bunnies. And if you want, you can also line everything out. I think this way it looks so much cuter. Once you're done with that, glue the design onto your notebook cover by using your glue stick. If your notebook cover is not completely white, you can paint over the colored areas by using white acrylic paint. And this cute notebook cover is finished. For the Sailor Jupiter design, you will need green, pink, yellow and white paper. Let's start off by doodling the design onto some extra paper first. This way it's easier to imagine how the cover will look in the end. And we can use this as a template as well. Of course you can use any reference if you can't exactly remember how the costume looks like. It doesn't have to look perfect or symmetrical. The next step will show you why. If you are finished with the doodle, fold the paper in half and cut up the bow. Once you have that, fold the paper in half as well and place the folded bow doodle on top. And then trace it onto the pink paper. Now you can cut off the upper part of the bow and trace it onto the pink paper as well. After that, cut everything out and the bow is almost done. You can also use the heart as a template to create the perfect brooch. Now all you have to do is to repeat the steps with the rest of the doodle. I cut off the top part of the costume the same way and then just adjusted it a little bit. Once you're done with cutting out, glue everything onto the white paper. If you want, you can add some more details to make it look cuter. I drew on the neck and added some shadows with acrylic paint. And to make it look more anime-like, I lined everything out with a black pen. I also decided to add some hair strands as well as I thought it might look cute. Since I didn't like the lower costume line in the end, I painted it over with some white acrylic paint. But you can decide what you like more. And then glue your new cover to your notebook. And you're done. And to create this dreamy doily design, you will need acrylic paint in the color of your choice, a sponge brush, paper doilies, and a white paper for the background in the size of your notebook cover. Go ahead and place the white paper on some additional sheet to avoid getting paint on your desk. Then begin by arranging the doilies on the paper. You can cut them into smaller pieces so you don't have to use too many doilies and it's easier to find the right design as well. Once you're happy with the arrangement, go ahead and paint the gaps in a doily with a sponge brush. Be sure to firmly hold the doily or it might slip away and smudge the pattern. If you have that, you can carefully peel off the doily. You can use different colors at the same time. This way you create a unique design. Paint over the edges of the doily as well as it will make it easier to fill in the middle area of the pattern. And now just repeat the step with the other doilies. And if you want, you can use a cotton pad or another sponge to dab on some additional paint. Once you're happy with the design, drip on some white acrylic paint on top to create splashes. You can use a small and a big brush, both will create different patterns. You can add a little bit of water to the paint if you have difficulties creating the splashes. Add additional stars for the extra sparkle and you're done. Let everything dry completely and then just glue it on to your notebook cover. 
You can really experiment with different arrangements and colors to create your unique notebook design. And you're done! I really like how they turned out. What is your favorite design? Comment down below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my fun and easy DIYs. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and see you next week!